If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey everybody, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and today, going into my updated Festival Booster 2023 Bastion deck profile. Actually really excited to show off this deck because Bastion just got some really, really, really good support with the new Grade 3 that removes the over trigger from your drop zone. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys my updated Bastion deck. So let's just get right into it. Starting off with the lineup. It's exactly like the trial deck. I do got my shiny SPs, but uh, I've been playing this deck since it came out. Nothing's changed. So Rooks gives you a rear guard, or sorry, Fort gives you a rear guard, Rooks lets you draw a card, and Bastion lets you restand stuff. So it's our boy, it's our Bastion lineup. Then we're still sticking with the Bastion Prime. So we got four copies of our Prime, has triple drive as it's a grade four, and you can remove a Bastion from your soul to put in your drop, or you can discard one from your hand to restand all your grade three rear guards, and they all get 10K. And then your front row gets 2K for that little 15K poke, sort of making those numbers hit. So Bastion Prime is still pretty much our finisher for the deck. Then on the grade threes, I am running the three extra copies of my Apex Bastion just because Persona writing is still pretty good. And also I still wanna make sure I have the extra cost for Bastion going forward, just to have it in hand, just in case, you never know. It's still a grade three, it can still be a good beater or booster in this sense, because our grade threes can boost in this deck. So we're just running it for the extra persona ride. Then for the new guy, running four copies of Sages. So what Sages does is if your opponent's drive check or damage check was revealed, a trigger unit during this turn, this gets 10K power and 10K shield. So it's a, ten, it's a shield <laughs> in a deck full of grade threes. So this is great. And when it attacks, you can look at the top card of your deck, either put on the back on the top or you put in your soul. So you're trigger thinning, which is great. And you can continue the effect, which is kind of last one. You can perform all the following if you want. Choose your opponent's Vanguard that's 14K or greater. And this unit gains the power of your opponent's Vanguard until the end of the battle. So if your opponent's Vanguard got an over trigger, you can match that for a counter blast and still hit them which is really, really cool. So this card gets over over triggers. It also has the additional effect of you can remove an over trigger from your drop zone and then choose one of your other front row units and it gets 15K. So if you're going for the kill and your OT is in your drop because you guarded with it, you can swing, remove it, 15K to another beater and just make your columns that much bigger, which is really nice. Or since it's, so I just really, really like this card because it's shield, it looks at triggers, it matches over triggers. This is just a really, really, really good card in general. So if you're playing Keter Sanctuary, this card can go a long way because it's not just Bastion specific. This card is just generically that good. I just love, love this card. It's just so good. Okay, now we're going back into the traditional Bastion stuff. We're just going into our four copies of Rondalia, which is what gives all your rear guards boost. So if you have a Bastion Vanguard, you put this into your soul. Your Vanguard then gets the skill, all of your grade threes get boost. So it's just a continuous effect. Then it also has the ability when it's in the soul, you can put it in the drop zone to give one of your rear guards boost. So you can just kind of keep filling up your soul and when your soul's full of them, you pull them out, keep giving your rear guards boost. So this is just how you consistently give your rear guards boost without having to play like a set order for discarding cards or, you know, not being able to worry about fill filling your soul. Uh, with cards like Dark Strain. So this both fills your soul and also gives Rear Guards boost, which is really cool. Then we're running our four copies of Alden. This card's been around since DBT01. So it's stuck around this long. It's never going away. I'm pretty sure Bastion will forever run four Aldens to the end of time because I really don't think they're gonna be making a better card than this unless they reduce the counter blast cost by one. So it's counter blast two, soul blast one. Pick a grade three from hand call it, draw two cards, and then when this swings, if you have three or more grade threes, it gets 5k. So that means, you know, it swings twice, it gets 10k. It's just too good not to run in Bastion. This is just the for sure play set. Then three copies of a common, which is interesting for some of these decks because most decks typically don't like to run commons, but this card is just so good. During your turn, if your Vanguard's grade is greater than your opponent's Vanguard, this gets 10k. So this could be one of two things, either the minute you ride to prime, you're guaranteed that 10K, or you go first, and the minute you ride your Bastion, 
You just put this down and your opponent's grade two Vanguard is just taking 23 to the face. And if you swing with it again, that's another 33 to the face for free. So this card's just really good. And that 10K isn't just when it attacks, it's just continuous. So it's a 10, it's a 23K booster, which is really cool. So I do really, really like this card. I don't know if I would say it's situational because you could just ride to grade four and then, you know, it's on pretty much all the time because grade four decks aren't really that popular right now. It's just a really, really, really good card just to get a lot of power. Then I'm running two copies of Embrace Dragon. This is just for additional shield. I still like the card because it doesn't hurt to be able to guard with additional cards from your hand. And also when you're at grade four, this has gives 20K power. So it's still a really, really good defensive card. So I wanna work with it at the two and it's a grade three. So, you know, you can reveal it for four in Brooks's effect. So keeping it like that. Hi baby. You saying hi to everybody? Hi cutie. Okay, we gotta get you out of here. Come here. Oh. Okay, we're kind of running out of space. So I'm just gonna get rid of our normal units. And I'll just real quickly show the order cards. Speaking of amazing festival booster support, forward all surrogate. This is a no brainer. This is the card you definitely wanna be running in Bastion. What it does is you play it. She just wants my attention. So what Surrogate does is you can search your, so what Surrogate does is you can search your deck for up to a total of two grade three or grade four units. And so basically you can, so basically you can search your deck for whatever grade three you want, plus your Bastion Prime and add the Bastion Prime to your hand and you call the grade three. Or you can just call two grade threes from your deck to the Guard Circle if you already have Bastion Prime. So the fact that this is just free and it can either fill your board or it can give you the Prime that you're looking for if you haven't found it yet, this is just a really, really, really good card. It does count as a Regalis piece, um, but we don't need a Persona Ride anyway, so this is for sure the go-to Regalis piece for this deck. So if you're planning on playing Bastion, Highly, in general, I think everyone should just be picking up this card because down the line, at some point, people are gonna be like, oh, I need a surrogate. Just pick it up as soon as you can before it becomes way too hard to pick up. So definitely get your surrogates now if you can. Then lastly, for order cards, got the one copy of Form Up Oh Chosen Nice. This is more of like kind of like a little spicy tech for me instead of running another grade three. I just like being able to give Bastion Prime quadruple drive. So what it does is you can, based on the number of grade threes on your rear guard circle, you can choose to give one of your units 5k if you have two. If you have three or more grade threes, you can draw a card. If you have four or more grade threes, your Vanguard gets an extra drive. So this is just a really good card because the it repays itself by giving you the draw after you kind of lost and sold last. Give something 5k, which doesn't hurt. And just being able to get an extra drive is just really, really nice. I've been thinking about dropping a grade three, just add another one of these because that's how funny it is, but I'm still playing around with that. So this is what I'm working with for my orders right now. So then for grade ones, running four copies of RPGs, we are not running Elementaria because Elementaria only works if your Vanguard is grade three. So since we're running a grade four Vanguard, Elementaria is not gonna make sense here. So we're just sticking with our four PGs. Then for triggers, we got the Dural Halse. I think I'm saying that right. Dura Halse is basically our Armada to Noah clone. It gives your rear guards drive checks. Rear guards have twin drive. So that means your rear guard swings have twin drive. So basically this or our Mark to Noah, they both do the same thing. That's for sure the go-to trigger for this deck. So sticking with the classics. Then we got our skill triggers. It's really just there because we can. And then we have our four vanilla triggers. I would say you can run eight vanilla triggers. I'm never gonna be calling this card to the rear guard circle, I don't think ever. On the off chance that I accidentally call it off fort, sure, maybe then I can fill the soul if I need to, but it's so situational that I don't think this is necessary. You can run the, the vanilla crits. That's, that's all I'm just trying to get to with this. Then I'm running draw triggers. Uh, the reason I'm running draw triggers instead of front triggers is because I want to see my grade to freeze and I want to be able to rebuild my board after Gandiva blows it up. So I like draw triggers because I can guarantee that I can have a full enough hand and maybe draw into some shield with my hands full of grade threes. And I also want to replenish my board. So easy enough, it's just the three draws. Then for heal triggers, I got my 
three vanilla heals, and I got my one hardiness tier, which is good against decks that gain crits based on card effects like Babzarga, Obski died, Gandiva, early game because this is up to a 38k shield by itself, Barrow Magnes, if I haven't mentioned that already, Gravidia. So it does come up in some situations, but I do like it at the one, so it's been working for me. So that's pretty much it for the deck. I'm gonna kind of quickly get into a little bit of like what the deck plays like so you get an idea of what you're getting into with your Bastion build. Okay, so going into the example of how you pretty much are gonna be playing this deck. In this example, I got really lucky and opened up with both Sages and Forbidal. So let's just assume that you got Forbidal just because it's fun, right? But pretty much what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be discarding a card that you feel like you're, you might not need for this turn. So let's just go right into our Bastion Prime. So with Rook's effect, we have to reveal three grade threes just to show that we can draw. So we're gonna reveal these threes to our opponent, draw a card, cool. We got the card we wanted back anyways. So if we are on grade three where our opponent's on grade two, this is obviously gonna be a really good beat stick. But just so we kind of start thinning out the deck a bit, we'll just go ahead and activate our Forbidal. So in this case, we don't have Bastion Prime in hand, so we're gonna search our deck for a grade three and a grade four. So for grade four, we can search our Bastion Prime. For our grade three, it has to be called a Rearguard Circle, so it wouldn't hurt to have an extra Rondala, but you could also choose to have an extra Sagis if you feel like it's gonna get retired in the next turn, you just wanna keep it on the board. So both work for now, we can just go with another Sagis and add that to hand. Or I'm sorry, call it to Rearguard Circle. So we'll call the Sagis, add the Bastion Prime to hand, and then the Regalis piece gets removed, or sent to drop. You know what I mean. So then we got a pretty decent hand to work with. We got our Sarge on the board. Let's just get some hand out of it now. So we can use Alden. Alden's kind of the last two. We sold the last one. We call a grade three. We can draw two cards now. Cool, that's some pretty decent shield we can use now, since our hand was just full of threes. And so depending really on the situation, if we really want a grade three booster, we can just throw down a grade three. We can use Rondala to give our grade threes boost if we want to do that. So, but we don't really have any other grade threes in our hand that we can really use as boosters. But if we want, maybe we can throw down another Sajin. And then this way, we have two ways of being able to swing and look at the top card of our deck and feed it into our Solar Knot. So, might as well. So, if this is the bigger column, maybe we'll save this one for later. Swing with a big old boost. Sajin's effect. When it attacks, you look at the top card of your deck. Choose to put it on top or leave it on soul. We'll leave it on top because draw triggers are good. We don't need to use the remaining effect just because I'm assuming this is the first attack so our opponent's vanguard isn't any bigger and we don't have an over trigger to remove so we'll just stick with this. Bastion will swing and our opponent will either choose a guard or not. We'll get a draw trigger, draw a card, and we got a grade three which activates Bastion's skill. So we don't really need additional primes. We just got lucky with that. So I'll discard the prime to restand a rear guard. It gets 10K. And now we can swing with this. And then we still got our big old column over here. This card hasn't used its once per turn effect yet. So we can look at the top card. That's a heal trigger. We might want to keep that on top just for the free heal. So we'll just go ahead and put it back on the top of our deck. But if you were to get like, say another Bastion Prime, which is actually really good because it would be a Bastion in Soul, you can look at the top card, feed it into your soul, and then have a better chance of seeing a trigger in your next check. So Sagis is just such a, good card that Bastion I feel like kind of needed just to even be relevant. This is still not the best deck in the format considering the fact that these all die to Gandiva and then you don't really have much of a hand to really work with afterwards. You just kind of have to get lucky and hope you either have two grade threes in hand to call to the board but then your Bastion Prime turn is not going to be as big because you don't have a full board anymore so there's a reason why Bastion's kind of underperforming right now but Sad just just helps a lot. So I'm just really glad that this card exists, uh, not just for Bastion, but for Keter Sanctuary in general, because it's such a cool card. But that's pretty much it. That's what the deck looks like in the first swing. The goal here is obviously to ride in a prime, get a big board of threes, swing with them all, beat face, yada, yada. The deck hasn't really changed that much. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks again to our sponsor for today's video, which is 50 Cards. If you haven't checked them out, check out their online store for their singles. They have Shadowverse. They have Vanguard boosters and bundles, so if you want to get playset or nation bundles, 
you can pick up a full playset of whatever nation you need to update your decks really efficiently. So please check them out. You can use code Nexus to get 5% off when you're at your checkout. So it makes your checkout a little bit cheaper when you're buying those big old bundles. And that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching and see you all in the next one. Bye.